okay? Does everybody understand what he's trying to argue? He's saying six could be even or it could be odd. Well, watch what he's going to prove and then you can ask him a question about it. Um, there's two. Number, number two over here. Cut that there. Cut this here. There's two, two, and two. And then I make six. I know. Which oh, is even. I think I know what he's saying. Oh, it's even. Could you stand there? People have some cool. questions for you. I think what he is saying is that it's almost. The, I think what he's saying is that. You have three groups of two, and three is an odd number, so six can be an odd number and be even number. Do other people agree with that? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, do other people agree with him? Do you disagree with that? Yeah, I disagree with that because it's not according to, like, here, can I show it on? It's not according to... How many groups it is? Let's say that I have let's say. If you call six it on number, why don't you mean it? Let's see. Let's say ten. Let's say ten. One, two, three. And you're a ten circuit. And then you would split them. Let's say I want you to split split them split them by two. So one, two. And look, one, two, three, four, five. Then why do you not call ten it like uh an odd number and an even number, or why don't you call other like numbers and odd numbers and or and an even number? I didn't think of that that way. Thank you for bringing it up. So I say it's five, ten can be an odd and an even. Yeah, but well, what about an even? what about other numbers? Like, if you keep on going on like that, and you say that other numbers are odd even, maybe it will end it up with all numbers are odd and even. Yeah. Then it won't make sense that all numbers should be odd and even, because if all numbers were odd and even, we wouldn't be even having this discussion.